Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Do low sodium diets cause reductions in blood pressure? Many people have high blood pressure. Many people go to the doctor, uh, they have a blood pressure test and they're told that they have high blood pressure. Uh, and generally the advice is to do more exercise and to consume a low sodium diet. Do low sodium diets though cause reductions in blood pressure? Well, for a, so a low sodium diet to cause a reduction in blood pressure, sodium needs to be the cause of elevated blood pressure. In other words, do high sodium diets uh, increase blood pressure? Yes and no is the answer. Sodium does not cause rises in blood pressure uh, in isolation. There must be a number of other factors that are present in order for a high sodium diet to cause elevations in blood pressure. Firstly, uh, the person has to be sensitive to salt. Uh, it seems that only a certain percentage of the population are actually sensitive to sodium. Most people are able to excrete excess sodium and they have no problem at all. However, there are a certain amount of people who are sensitive to salt and these people do seem to have elevations in blood pressure from consuming a high sodium diet. The other factor that needs to be present uh, in order to be able to cause elevations in blood pressure uh, is that there has to be a low potassium intake in the diet. In the absence of a low potassium intake, sodium in itself does not cause elevations in blood pressure. So what we're really saying is that it's actually the sodium to potassium ratio that changes blood pressure, not just the presence of sodium. Now this is important because if we go to plant foods, what do we find? Well, plant foods contain high amounts of potassium and generally they contain low amounts of sodium. In other words, they have a particular ratio that favours potassium. If we go to the typical Western diet, what do we find? We find the opposite. We find low amounts of potassium in the typical Western diet. We find high amounts of sodium. And these, this combination is what causes uh, high blood pressure. Now, there is more to this and there are factors that we don't understand. Uh, the theory goes that sodium causes increases in blood pressure because it causes an increase in extracellular fluid volume. This increases blood volume. It also increases uh, the size of the vascular tissue, which, which decreases the lumen uh, within your blood vessels. And the combination of an increased blood volume with a uh, decreased um, luminal diameter, diameter within your blood vessels causes um, your blood pressure rises. Now, this theory, uh, for it to be uh, true, would have to uh, occur as soon as uh, high sodium diets are consumed. In other words, high sodium diets would cause a, a fairly rapid increase uh, in your extracellular fluid volume. However, what we find from animal experiments, uh, what we find from human experiments, is that you have to go on a high sodium diet for a number of uh, a period of time um, before you get these elevations in blood pressure. Uh, now this is interesting because it indicates that it is not the increase in extracellular volume uh, which would happen in short order, it happened in a number of days, that is causing the elevations uh, in blood pressure. So there are other factors at play. So to say that high sodium diets cause elevations in blood pressure is disingenuous uh, because there are other factors, particularly the amount of potassium uh, that you consume, that, that modify this effect. And also there are people who are salt sensitive and it's generally these people that will actually show uh, the effects of any high sodium diet. So going on a low sodium diet will not necessarily cause your blood pressure to go down and this is what we find uh, in clinical trials. Those clinical trials that have given people salt restrictive diets tend to get poor results. They tend to show that, that in the absence of changing other factors within the diet uh, there, are, there isn't really a, a, an alteration in blood pressure at all. Um, so people start uh, looking at their diets as a whole, uh, they actually find that a low sodium diet is really a high, a high potassium diet. You can't have uh, high amounts of sodium potassium because when you switch to a high quality diet that contains lots of plant foods, uh, the sodium content goes down and the potassium content goes up. If you have uh, high blood pressure and you've been, been advised to take a low sodium diet, I would suggest that actually what you need to consume uh, is a plant-based diet. Uh, I would forget looking at the salt content of foods. I would forget uh, any type of exercise to lower blood pressure because 
uh, really what you need to do is eat a plant-based diet. Uh, these are very effective at lowering blood pressure. I'm not saying that exercise is not good for you and I'm not saying that you shouldn't perform exercise. However, your, your first port of call if you have high blood pressure is to get the potassium to sodium ratio uh, a fav in a favorable ratio uh, so that the potassium content is high and the sodium ratio is low. And all traditional plant-based foods, uh, plant-based diets have this favorable ratio. If you have high blood pressure and you switch to a predominantly plant-based diet, um, vegetarians have been shown to generally have lower blood pressure than those people who eat meat. For this reason, they have higher con uh, concentrations of potassium uh, in their foods. If you switch to a high plant food diet, you will find that your blood pressure uh, will regulate itself uh, and you will also lose weight. Uh, switching to a plant based diet, switching away from a typical Western diet will take away sources uh, of fructose, of refined carbohydrates uh, that cause you to become fat. Your weight will reduce, your blood pressure will reduce and you will be healthier. Now, there is a correlation between blood pressure uh, and body weight. Those people who have higher body weights, be, uh, who, though who are fatter, tend to have higher blood pressure. However, if you take two individuals, one of them a vegetarian, one of them a meat eater, and you uh, two people of identical uh, adiposity, uh, the same body weight, the same amount of uh, uh, body fat, uh, the person who is the vegetarian will generally have lower blood pressure. And this is because they are eating more potassium. So, the weight gain is not necessarily the actually the cause of the rise in blood pressure. It, it could simply be that uh, the uh, the poor diet is actually uh, ref uh, causing weight gain and also causing uh, a high a high blood pressure simply because of the sodium content uh, and the potassium content that uh, they are out of balance. So this balance is very important. We see this with other uh, macro minerals as well. Calcium is also able to regulate blood pressure. Those people with low intakes of calcium have higher blood pressure. And we know that magnesium is able to relax blood vessels. That increases the luminal di uh, diameter uh, within them, and that causes a reduction in blood pressure. So to say that sodium is the cause of high blood pressure is disingenuous because there are other uh, macro minerals that are important in blood, pre blood, blood pressure regulation. I'll get my words out. Um, and therefore, you need to consider the whole picture. And this is why you should eat a high quality diet containing many varied foods that can supply all of the macronutrients you need in the ratios that you need, because these ratios are there for a reason. Uh, plant foods and the foods that we traditionally eat uh, contain these uh, uh, macronutrients. Um, in the correct ratios and if we eat them uh, we maintain our health as soon as we switch to a western style diet and we consume lots of sodium and the calcium and potassium and magnesium content of the diet decreases we start to get health problems and one of those health problems happens to be blood pressure so what i'm saying is to, if the, the take home message from this is that you need to consider the holistic approach. There is no magic bullet in nutrition. Things work in balance. Uh, the, the nutrients that you require are required in balanced ratios and foods generally supply those balanced ratios if they are of high quality and they're the foods we've traditionally eaten. If you eat processed uh, Western junk, uh, you will develop uh, diseases because the macronutrients, the micronutrients uh, and all of the uh, uh, think essential factors within that diet are out of balance. Some of them are supplied in uh, uh, too high a concentration, some of them in too low a concentration. This causes biochemical imbalance and this is really the cause of most, most Western lifestyle diseases.